Good Monday evening, Southeast Texas. Looks like a chilly, wet night across the area due to this upper level low pressure, strong subtropical jet over our area. That is expected to energize showers off towards our northwest and bring them into our area coming up over the next uh, several hours. So it looks like a wet night. And again, as this low moves away, there's hope that it'll move out quick enough to allow us to see sunset coming up tomorrow night. So Futurecast doing a pretty good job showing a band of rain off over towards uh, Tyler County, uh, Liberty County, and over towards Houston. That matches up with what's going on on radar right now. Temperatures in the 50s. Put this into motion and uh, flare up of showers mainly. Not expecting heavy rainfall per se. I think about an inch or less and uh, not expecting severe. The rains flare up over the triangle. Just looks like a wet night across the area through about uh, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Then the bulk of the heavy stuff, or heavier stuff I should say, moves off. We'll be left with residual showers, light stuff uh, through about 3 a.m. Temperatures then crash into the mid 40s in the lakes to about 50 in the triangle by daybreak. Lots of clouds uh, tomorrow morning. Don't expect any sun with a north wind. It is going to be a chilly morning across southeast Texas. By uh, 9 a.m., most of the rain should be moving out. Still a chilly morning, and uh, this model is very optimistic about clearing us out, or at least in the process of clearing us out around noontime. This is the one thing I have a little difficulty with, and I just don't believe we're going to see sunny skies by 3 p.m. We could. That would be wonderful. Uh, it may be a little slower than this as far as the clearing trim. And uh, tomorrow's highs will greatly depend upon how much sun we see. If we see a lot of sun by 3 p.m. in the afternoon, yeah, we could hit 60. But uh, I'm going to be a little, a little more pessimistic as far as this goes, as that moisture slowly moves on out and takes the clouds with it. We'll stay with the 50s uh, across the area. Otherwise, on the Gulf of Mexico, choppy seas around 2 to 4 feet in your coastal marine forecast tomorrow. We'll see a northeast wind at 15 to 20 knots. Water temperature back up to 61. So it's just going to be wet. It's going to be windy. It's just not going to be a pretty night. Low temperatures by uh, the morning should be in the mid 40s lakes, upper 40s to lower 50s here in the triangle. Winds could gust to 25 miles an hour tomorrow. 40% coverage of showers and then a slower than what you saw decrease in cloudiness uh, as far as tomorrow afternoon. High temperatures mid to upper 50s, maybe 60. So here we go, yellow bar today. That rain is in the morning. Hopefully we can get a little bit of sun in the afternoon and uh, warm us up to warmer than what I have. Otherwise, the weekend, get into that in just a second, but Wednesday and Thursday look gorgeous across the area. There's no way uh, to slice it any, any other way. Lows are gonna be chilly, but highs are gonna be comfortable and low humidity, enjoy. Then on Friday, here comes our next round of rain. We'll give it a 30 to 40% coverage. And then the weekend, as I said, just flat out gorgeous. Another front comes in Friday night, Saturday morning. Lows will be chilly again, and highs in the mid to upper 60s. And then as we head towards uh, Monday, looks like we'll see highs returning to about 72 as we begin the warming process. So in between, and behind each round of rain, we get some gorgeous days. Four out of, uh, or four, maybe 4.5 out of sevens, not bad. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.